Guys, before we get started, just a reminder, uh, like, subscribe, and click the link in the description, go on Patreon, show me some love. Uh, today we are going to be talking about optics on shotguns, because some of you guys are still not convinced that they are useful. Um, well, here we go. So uh, you're going to see the Primary Arms SLX 1X Prism Optic on my 1301 here, uh, just a, a demo of how useful these optics are. ACSS reticle focus through my camera here uh, on a USPSA target at 10 yards. So you can see the circle, circle of death there just barely covers the head and it is about the size or width of the A zone. Well, I happen to have some double op buck in there. All nine pellets. Now we are at 20 yards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is why I put an optic on my shotguns. Shot accountability. If there's only bad guy inside of that ring, I'm good to take the shot. If there's anything else inside of there, it's not safe. Now, to my knowledge, there's two companies that make a ring like this for their optics. Uh, what you're seeing in the video is the Primary Arms SLX 1X. That's a prism optic. I had it on my AR, I loved it so much. I put it on the 1301. It's got a nice tight little chevron uh, that's great for precision shots. And it's got that ring, which perfectly corresponds to the, the cheap buckshot. Uh, the buckshot that I'm using here is not the fancy stuff. Um, that's good that, that it corresponds to the cheap, wider spreading buckshot. Now, the other optic out there is the 507 Hollow Suns, um, or really any of the Hollow Suns that have the ring. Uh, their ring is about the same size. I, it may be exactly the same size. What I found is it also nicely corresponds to double lot buck. Uh, this does not correspond to bird shot. This does not correspond to number four buck. But um, what I found is that uh, inside of 25 yards, this corresponds nicely to flight control uh, number one buck. Uh, and all of the double lot buck that I've seen it, it always keeps all of the pellets inside of that circle. Um, the nicer the buckshot is, the more significantly centered it is on that circle, but uh, it's really nice to have that ring to let you know where your safety is. It's, it's so fast and so intuitive, it kind of lets you immediately gauge distance just by um, putting the, the optic on a target and um, it also immediately lets you know, okay, good shot, not good shot. Or for some of you guys, okay, buckshot or slug. Um, and what I've seen is I've, if I zero this for a slug at 100, uh, this is still, is still viable for buckshot at 25. Now this may not be true out of every shotgun. It may not be true for your shotgun. As always, you gotta go out, pattern your loads, and uh, zero your guns, but um, man, you can see here, optics are totally worthwhile on shotguns. There's a huge, uh, there's a huge safety gain that you get from having an optic like this on a shotgun. You get uh, the the ability to call your shots much more easily. Now you can pattern your gun, and you can do this with just a bead sight, um, but at that point you really are guessing, right? You're guessing how far that target is from you on the fly. You're also guessing or remembering your uh, your spread at that distance. This just does it for you guys. You don't have to know your distance at all. It's just put the reticle on the target. If the bad guy covers the entire circle, you're good to go. So um, yeah, guys, I highly recommend you use something like this, something with a ring on your shotguns if you're, if you're running buckshot. There you go, guys. Um, you want to help me out? Like, subscribe. Go on to Patreon. The link's in the description. Uh, show me some love there. Got more content coming out. I appreciate those of you who are, are already on there helping me out. Uh, if you have questions about this or uh, you want to see anything else, let me know in the comments. Let's have that discussion. As always, keep training. Stay safe.